Hi, this is Pam Shriver from Eight Mile Creek Farm. This is Trooper, our Murray Gray Bull. Um, uh, I have owned and operated Eight Mile Creek Farm now for 20 years. Um, we're a diversified Ooh. organic farm and we produce certified organic uh, produce, a wide variety of produce, chicken, eggs, Sunday. We're still out here in sun on a Sunday. Um, so farming is a 365-day-a-year job, and regardless of the weather, we're we're out here working to produce food for everybody. Um, one of the biggest challenges we face on days like this and months like this, January in upstate New York, is the water water becomes an issue because it's so cold it will actually freeze before the animals can drink it. We do have some stock tanks that are heated um, with water heaters. Typically a 100 gallon stock tank uh, to heat that with a water heater is about $45 a month to heat. Well, well that doesn't seem so bad if you have 10 stock tanks that you're heating that can easily run $450 a month just to heat the stock tanks. So it's very hard to um, incorporate that into your expenses when you have many other expenses. So what we end up doing is heating some um, and others we end up breaking the ice on or we truck water, we fill water, to dig water totes, um, which are about 100 gallons and bring them over to fill water, uh, water, uh, troughs and buckets and and things like that. Um, the smaller animals we do keep in the barn, the chickens and some of the smaller calves we keep in the barn, but the larger animals such as um, there's some cows over there at the feeder um, and Trooper is still here watching us. Um, but we um, they're outside. The best way to keep the larger animals warm in these colder months is to provide them with a large amount of hay. When the animals digest the hay, it, it creates a lot of body heat, and that's how they keep themselves warm. Um, same thing with the horses. We, they do need to eat more hay, um, and they do need to have enough water to continue to eat the hay. Um, we provide them salt, which helps them drink enough water so that they'll keep eating enough hay. Um, we do provide wind breaks, so most of the fields that the, that the animals are in have some kind of a wind break, whether it be bushes or trees um, or barns that they can go stand up against to, to keep warm from the wind. Um, we feed them twice a day, sometimes three times a day, and that's, that's what a good part of our day is, uh, like in the, in, in the center of the winter here in upstate New York in January. We also do some planning, some, um, we've already ordered our seeds for the summer, we did that at the beginning of the month, 
we do a lot of ordering um, for supplies, uh, checking on equipment to make sure equipment will work for the hay season, things like that. And so that that's the day in the life of a farmer in January, upstate New York. Thanks for listening.